Hey everyone! In this video we're going to be working with a 3D pie chart and we're actually going to rotate the pie chart to emphasize a different part of the chart. Then we're going to do something called exploding a pie slice out of the chart. Again, just kind of giving it more emphasis on a certain um, area of the chart. And then we're just going to apply some formatting to the chart area. Okay, so we have this very nice looking 3D pie chart. And the first thing I want to do is I'm going to rotate it. Um, Excel builds the pie chart based on the um, order of the items that you have in your data. And it, you know, it just builds it based on that. But let's say the waterfront um, piece of this pie chart is something that I want to emphasize and really talk about. So I'm going to rotate the pie chart um, so that is more towards um, the front. So the first thing we need to do is select the pie chart. So I'm just going to come onto the pie chart and just click one time. And actually I had to click one more time because I wasn't, um, none of the chart was selected. But what you want to make sure to do is get those sizing handles all the way around the chart. And so that way I know just the chart is selected. Um, and I want to open up the format uh, data series pane. So I can right click anywhere on one of the pie pieces and go down to format data series. Okay, so now I want to make sure that my series option is what's displaying down here. If you're maybe in the effects area or somewhere, make sure to click on series option here and I can see I have two options, angle of the first slice and pie explosion. So first what I want to do is change the angle of the first slice. So in here, instead of it being zero degrees, I'm going to go for 250 degrees. So I just did a drag select over the zero and I'm just typing in 250 and then I'm just going to um, press enter. Notice where everything is right now, like the waterfront is back here, wastewater is um, pretty much pointing down right in the center. So as soon as I press enter, notice how everything um, you know, rotated around to the right. You can see the wastewater is now over here. The waterfront is now um, more towards the front and the water usage is the one that's predominantly in the front. Okay, so if you're not sure where how much you want to rotate, again, just kind of play with this, um, the angle and see what, what works best for you. Okay, so we have that figured out and now what I want to do is just pull out the waterfront slice to give it more emphasis. Maybe that's what I want to talk about in my presentation um, on this particular topic. So I still have my format data series uh, pane open um, and you can see I'm here under pie explosion now, if I were to explode, let's say um, if I put in like 20% here and I press, uh, oops, and I press enter, you can see the whole pie explodes. But in this case, that's not what I want. I want just this um, one slice to explode. So I'm just going to uh, put this back to zero, actually. I'll put it back to zero. That way the whole pie chart comes back together. Now in order to make just this waterfront piece explode, I'm just going to click, I have the pie chart selected, I can see my sizing handles, and then I'm going to click one more time, just one click, right on the waterfront slice. And you can see that the, all the sizing handles are gone except for the ones over the waterfront slice. Okay, so and notice over here now my pane says format data point, data point instead of data series. So that's how I know just this slice is um, selected. And I want to explode it out just 10%, so just a little bit. Um, pulling it out. So I'll just type a 1 there, make sure it says 10% and then press enter and you can see now that the pie slice is uh, pulled out there. Okay, and then I can also change um, the look of this particular pie slice. So if I go to the fill and line option here, I'm still on format data point um, pane and I want to do the fill. I'm going to expand that and click on gradient fill. Oops, sorry about that. And then under the preset information, I'm going to click on this option here, which is the bottom spotlight accent six. 
Sorry, that's what happens sometimes when you're uh, when you're recording a video. So sorry about that. Um, so I'm going to choose that one, and then you can see it kind of has a nice little gradient there, and um, and I think that looks pretty good. So the last thing I want to do is actually format the entire chart area. So if I come outside of the pie chart area and I just click a little closer to the to the edge of the chart notice that now my pane says format chart area so you can see definitely where you're clicking in the chart it changes what uh, what you're going to be formatting so you want to make sure that you have the entire chart area selected um, and then I'm going to do the same thing. So I now I have my fill option here. If you don't have it, just go ahead and click the little paint bucket. And we're going to do a gradient fill again. But this time, we want to do a blue. So I'm going to go down to the fourth row, but I'm choosing the bottom spotlight accent one. And that looks pretty good. So now I have a nice um, color of my background. Um, and then I'm going to put a border on my whole chart. So I. Uh, collapse the fill information. I'll click on the border to expand that. I want to choose a solid line and I'm going to change the color to this color right here which is the blue gray text number two so I'll click that and then for the width I want to do it as five points so I'll just click on uh, type in five and press enter. Um, and I think that's it. So now I'm going to go ahead and close my pane so I can see my whole chart here. And now, and now if I just deselect the whole chart, you can see that I've uh, rotated the pie chart. I pulled the waterfront piece out, changed the coloring of that a little bit to gradient, and then I also changed the background of the pie chart with a gradient fill and also put a solid border around the chart. So looks pretty good, nice and professional, very good way to present your um, uh, data information, your numbers in a visual way. Okay, so that's it for now. Take care.